officials from Ukraine and Russia are set to meet for talks at the Ukraine-Belarus border, without any preconditions, on Monday as the Russian military forces continued to face fierce resistance around several major urban centers in Ukraine. At least 352 civilians, including 14 children, have been killed since the start of Russia's invasion, according to the Ukrainian Health Ministry. Another one, 684 people have been wounded, including 116 children. Russian forces have faced a stronger resistance than what Moscow anticipated, U.S. defense officials have said. Despite possessing an overwhelming military advantage Russian forces have failed to capture any major Ukrainian city, despite mounting offenses on major cities like Kiev, Kharkiv, and Mariupol. The Russian advance has seriously been hampered by fuel shortages and logistical problems, according to U.S. officials, while the Russian Air Force has not yet been able to establish air superiority over Ukraine. The Pentagon estimates that around two-thirds of Russian combat power that was amassed ahead of the invasion has now been committed inside Ukraine. The Ukrainians are putting up a very stiff and brave and heroic resistance, but we are only in day four, and I would be reluctant to provide an estimate. In photos, Ukrainian volunteers take up arms as Russian attacks wreak havoc on Kiev. Forbes war protests erupt across Europe, including Russia. Forbes FIFA takes stand against Russia, here's how the sports world has reacted to the Ukraine invasion, Forbes follow live updates from Forbes Ukraine here.